What up, what up, it's Chad Wildplay, and you guys really liked my last fidget spinner video and kept commenting to do another fidget spinner. So let's buy some more fidget spinners and see which one destroys fruit the best. And once again, I am doing a fidget spinner giveaway, so stay tuned to the very end to find out how you can win your own fidget spinner from me. And for those of you who are like, Chad, why are you so excited about fidget spinners? Well, I think you're gonna really enjoy my shirt. Okay, let's go buy that first fidget spinner. <laughs> And the first fidget spinner we will be looking at is, whoa, this one's cool. Like a skull and a crossbones. And he's got like a little lightning bolt on his head, cool. Anti-spinner, wait a second, anti-spinner. Does that mean it doesn't spin? It's gotta spin, let's check it out here. Small, simple, discreet, and fun. Also effective for focus and deep thought. I love deep thinking, let's just go ahead and buy this. And look what came in the mail today. It is the Skull and Crossbones Fidget Spinner. I gotta say wow to this tin can case here. This is really cool actually. None of my other fidget spinners from my last video came in such a cool case. It says fidget spinner across the top, made in China. And let's open it up. That's like a nice hard foam to protect it in. That is nice. This is a cool fidget spinner. Holy cow. It looks like it's made out of gold almost. Like, is it worth money? Uh, and then it's got a black lightning bolt, black eyes, black nose, and black scary teeth. <laughs> you know, my dad loves skulls and crossbones. So if you're lucky, dad, you might just get one of these for your birthday. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Uh, you know, I'm noticing now with this skull and crossbones, though, it's not exactly like symmetrical. It's not an exact plus it has kind of a it's kind of squished together i think that's going to make it spin not as long so because i don't think it's balanced very well so let's see how fast i can make it spin and how long i can make it spin for i'm going to get my clock ready here and i'm going to spin it as fast as i possibly can and i'm going to hit that timer and here we go And that spun for 39 seconds, skull and crossbones. Now, not that long, really. I've had other fidget spinners that spun a lot longer, but this one definitely gets some bonus points for being super cool. So let's take it outside, though, and see how it truly performs fighting some fruit. What up, what up? I'm out here with V Quain. She's going to help me with this fidget spinner and my buddy Justin behind the camera, who's a master at ninja skills and destroying watermelons. We are going to destroy this watermelon with the skull and crossbones fidget spinner. Let me take it out of its Ooh. fancy case. This thing is dangerous, guys. You gotta watch out. Look at that thing spin, V. Is it like 24 karat gold? I think, think so. I think That's it's... I think it's probably worth a couple million dollars. Wow. Seems legit. Yeah. Totes legit. And look, that skull doesn't even turn. It's like a dangerous ninja weapon. Do, do, do. So, what do you think it's gonna do against this watermelon, V? Feeling pretty positive, so I think it will destroy some fruit. Uh, yeah, I think the whole thing's just gonna like blow up like crazy. It's gonna be awesome. Should we give it a shot? Chop it in half. All right, let's chop this watermelon in half. Ow! Skull and crossbone fidget spinner versus watermelon. Let's get this up. Full speed here. Here we go. Get it. Oh! Oh! oh, oh that was God. so oh epic! God. But the watermelon won! I know, I've got an idea. For those of you that are new here, you might not know that I do ninja weapons versus fruit. So let's go get a ninja weapon from our Batman video and open this watermelon up. Then the fidget spinner will do a really good job. Definitely. Cool, let's do it. Whoa, wait a second. This weapon is kind of pathetic. A little bit. A little bit. I know how to fix that. Ooh. And I got yeah. myself one too. Woo! This is from the Batman video, and this is what uh, Nightwing uses. It's scrum sticks Let's destroy this watermelon. Warm-up swing. Baton beats watermelon. Now let's get the fidget spinner against this watermelon. Skull and crossbones fidget spinner versus watermelon. You ready, V? I'm so ready! Woo! That was incredible. 
incredible. Yeah, man. Hey, V, this guy here is in love with fidget spinners. Ooh. He won't be in love soon after I destroy him with this skull and crossbones fidget spinner. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Like, dude, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and the next fidget spinner we are checking out is the another anti spinner. Ooh, this one looks cool. It's like a circular spaceship. Kind of reminds me of a Star Wars type thing. That looks pretty cool. And it's got those like sharp edges. I think that might do a really good job of slicing up some fruit. Small enough to carry in your pocket every day. Ooh, I like the sound of that. I mean, I can't leave the house without a fidget spinner, right? Let's buy this thing. And the next fidget spinner is this blue. Um, I'm not sure what it looks like. It kind of reminds me of Star Wars for some reason, but maybe you guys can let me know what it reminds you of. Yeah, that is cool. It's got like a camouflage look to it, but it's a blue camouflage and it has these, all these little silver balls adding weight to the end. I think that's gonna make it spin for a really long time with this added weight out here. And you can see that there's like a silver ring kind of look it makes when you're spinning it. You get just the right angle of light, you get like a silver circle at the edge. That's pretty cool. But whoa, this thing is loud. Give this thing a listen, guys. Yeah, so uh, I don't recommend this one for the classroom spinning because you're going to annoy a lot of people. People are like, dude, shut up. You're so loud back there. But anyway, oh, you know what else, though, is cool? That this has these little hooks here. I think that's going to do a really good job of, like, digging into fruit and uh, destroying some things. So, but we first, we need to have the speed test or the time test. We got to see which of our fidget spinners we're using today are going to spin the longest. Uh, so the last one received 39 seconds. Let's see if this one can beat 39 seconds. I'm gonna give it my toughest spin. Here we go. And it easily passes the skull and crossbone spinner, reaching a total of one minute and 16 seconds. Congratulations. You are the current first place holder. Let's see if any of our future fidget spinners can beat it. We've got three more to go, but first we need to take this outside and see how this does with destroying some things. This one is going to destroy some major fruit. V, check it out. Oh yeah, it has some pretty sharp edges. I think that's gonna shoot some watermelon right at your guys' faces. Oh yeah. Let's do it. Ow. Oh, she breaks the camera. Come on, we gotta get something. Let's see how this one does versus water. I think oh, this yeah. is gonna shoot up some good water here. Here we go. so much for giving this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. That helps me a lot. Stay tuned till the end to see how to win a fidget spinner. But first, let's get into fidget spinner number three. That's gonna be, ooh, this one's cool. Look at the color on this. That is nice. It's the anti, wow, these anti spinners sure are popular. I don't know why they're called anti spinners, but anyway, great gift for quit smoking. Hmm, ooh, I know someone who's smoking hot. And so I'm gonna get this for them. Whoa, look what just arrived, everybody. Oh, and I'm being so rough with it. Cool case, though. It's got that metal case um, with a little window in there. That's pretty neat. I should probably put it in so you guys can see it. There we go, a little, little peephole to look through there. It's got some foam padding to protect it. Ooh, this is a heavy one. Oh yeah, I like the heavy fidget spinners because I think they tend to spin the longest. Um, we'll see if that 
proves to be true here when we time this thing. Let me move the case over here. I really like the color of this thing. Oh, and this one is like silent. Here, let me give it a spin. It's really quiet. Kind of makes a somewhat of a high-pitched noise, but definitely the quietest one we've tested today so far. I really like this. I like the weight of this thing. It's pretty heavy. Because of that weight, I think it's gonna do a really good job and spin a really long time. So, let me get my clock going here. Here we go. One, two, three. Whoa, wait a second, something happened there. Is something too tight? I'm gonna unscrew this. It's gotta definitely spin longer than that. Let's see what's going on here. Maybe I had this uh, screwed on too tightly. Let's try it again. Put that there, screw this in. All right, I'm ready to give this a try number two here. I think something got caught on that first one. Let's give it a shot. I am really surprised that this did not last longer than 25 seconds. As it was spinning, I heard it kind of get caught somewhere and just like suddenly slow down. So I feel like I feel like this should definitely spin a lot longer, but it didn't. So, but maybe it's gonna do a much better job of destroying fruit because of how heavy it is. I think it is gonna do a really good job there. So let's go outside and check this thing out. Ooh, check this one out, V. Ooh, what's like. It's like a Triforce thing or something. I don't know. Triforce? What's that? I don't know. Legend of Zelda, I think. Oh. <laughs> well, what do you think it's going to do best on? Watermelon, balloon, or water? I think water. I'll do best on water. Okay. Yeah, yeah. How about we try it first against the water balloon, and then we'll try water. All right. Let's do it. Woo! Lover emoji water balloon versus fidget spinner. Let's do this. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> it bounced way over here through the bushes. Okay, V, let's see how this does against water. You said it was gonna do good. I think it's gonna be awesome. Let's check it out. Thank all you guys who are part of the notification squad who have that bell symbol turned on down below. Thanks for hanging out with me in my live streams and for hanging out in the comment section. I hang out with you guys for the first 30 minutes after every upload in the comments. Make sure to have that bell symbol not only turned on, but also with the ringing symbols on the bell. The next fidget spinner is this yellow Banana looking one almost. It's another anti-spinner. Geez, these are popular. It's the new World Wind Shape Design Hand Spinner. It's fashionable and affordable. Fashionable is so important. I think V's gonna really like that. Let's buy this thing. Special delivery. Wow, this came in like a really big box. Fingertip art, easy to play above the fingertips. High speed and low resistance. Whoa, wow, so they like, got games on here infinite overlap and challenge the limit cool wow okay well let's let's see what's in here i'm very intrigued now because i didn't think fidget spinners came with anything extra wow cool okay so there's there's some things in here i don't know what they are let's take them out and find out oh okay okay so this goes here probably, and it screws together like so. Gotcha. And uh, what can I do with these? Oh, so can I like balance this on here? Interesting, interesting. Well, cool. Well, I'm not gonna play with these extra parts here, uh, but I guess you can play some games and do some cool stuff with these. Uh, on the box, it shows like using a pencil to spin this, so that's pretty neat. But let's just give this thing a test as is, just like the other fidget spinners. Okay, okay, that seems to spin pretty good. It's a medium loud, not the loudest, but not the quietest for sure. And uh, yeah, that's a pretty cool yellow color. It almost looks like it would glow in the dark. I don't think it does though. But then it has some silver accents here, almost like a mirror. Could look in it, not quite, not quite shiny enough. So let's get the timer going here and see how long this thing spins. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
37 seconds. Not the best, but not the worst either. And I just wanna say that for the giveaway guys, whoever wins the five fidget spinners, you can pick whatever fidget spinner you want. In fact, if you wanna pick one of the ones I used in my last video, you can pick one of those too. So let's take this outside though and see how it does against destroying some things. <laughs> Yellow spinners, turn B. How's this one gonna do, you think? Ooh, I think it's gonna do just as good as the other one. Yeah? The triangle one. Okay, this against one's really what? really fun. It's like a highlighter. Yeah, and it's very fashionable if you're wearing like a yellow outfit, you know? It could blend in well with it. <laughs> All right, let's see how it does against some stuff. Woo! Look at this guy and the yellow fidget spinner. They go so well together, don't they? They really do. That's like one of your fashion hacks, right, B? Yeah. All right, let's see how he does against his yellow fidget spinner. how it does against some water. Are you ready, B? I'm ready! Let's get some water flying! The next fidget spinner we are using is the dog bone. Whoa, that's cool. Uh, if I had a dog, I think they would love playing with this fidget spinner, yeah. And again, this one is another anti-spinner. Hmm, now sometimes V says I'm a dog, so I think that means I should probably buy this fidget spinner. Let's get it. Woof, woof! The dog bone fidget spinner has arrived. Again, in a nice metal type case here with a window in it. That's kind of nice. Let's open this up, pretty tight. Nice foam in there to protect it. Very cool color. Whoa, this one is heavy too. Oh wow, definitely. Holy cow, that's loud. Check this out. I think this is the loudest one so far. It seems to kind of be catching on the edge of something, making that really loud noise. I think that's gonna really slow it down when it's spinning. So let me take it apart here and see if I can figure out what's going on. Um, looks pretty normal. Ah, there's the ball bearing right there. Now I've made it definitely too tight. It won't spin at all. <laughs> Let me loosen it up here. Okay guys, well I loosened it up a little bit here and we're gonna see if that makes it spin a little bit longer. Let me get my timer going here and we are ready to spin. Wah, 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 10 seconds. How can you even call this a fidget spinner if it's only gonna spin for 10 seconds? I must have got a dud here, guys. There's no way that a fidget spinner can only spin for 10 seconds, right? There must be something wrong with this one. I just don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe if I held it this way, it would spin longer. Doesn't seem like it though. It seems like it's still having problems, but it has a lot of weight to it. So I think it's gonna do a pretty good job of destroying some things. So let's go outside and see how it works. Ooh, this one makes a cool sound. It does. And it's a doggy bone. That's another one. Oh. I call it my Bone Thugs in Harmony fidget spinner. I call it the Snoop Dog. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, how is Snoop Dog gonna do against uh, some water, huh? I think pretty good. And I think we should have it go against your favorite spinner. Which is this one. Let's see which one does better. The Bone Spinner versus V's favorite, the Try Something Spinner. The triad. Triforce. <laughs> Ready? Here we go, V. You're spinning the wrong way. This there. way, this way. Now you're no. going the wrong way again. <laughs> Here we go. Ready? Pretty good. It's pretty good. Oh, you guys will have to decide which win did the best. Let's see how Mr. Emoji Lover does against all five fidget spinners spinning at once. So V, let's get these started here. There we go. Crossbow 
bone one is, or the bone is still spinning. He is the winner! If you guys want to enter to win a fidget spinner of your own, and you can pick any fidget spinner you want, either of the five I used today or the five I used in my last video, there is a link down below, and there are multiple ways to enter the giveaway. You can do it by like subscribing, by following me on Twitter, stuff like that. So just click the link below. It'll give you all the instructions so you can win your own fidget spinner. But before you do that, please real quick, leave a comment below talking about which fidget spinner was your favorite, something like that, let me know. I'd really appreciate that. Thanks for giving a thumbs up. If you guys haven't seen this video right here, check it out. If you're not subscribed, click right there. Thank you, V, you are super funny. Go check her out right there. If that video doesn't look good, check this video out because it's super good as well. All right, I'll see you guys in the link below for the contest to win a fidget spinner, and I'll see you real soon. Bye.